Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And I don't know if you guys recall, but I had said to you, uh, maybe over, over on Patreon only, which I'm actually, we are on our, uh, we're on Patreon right now, but we're on Vanessa, Vanessa Beatley's Patreon channel. And I'm only going to play a short clip because she posted the interview she did with RT News here exclusively on her Patreon channel. So if you want to be able to see the entire interview, uh, please go and subscribe to Vanessa Beely. Uh, she does have some amazing uh, information. You're going to get more truth about Ukraine and uh, Middle Eastern affairs from Vanessa than you probably will any other journalist in the world. Uh, I, I really appreciate the work she does. I do follow her myself on Patreon. But specifically, she's talking about Iran and that it is a CIA operation. And it is. I've actually did a, did a broadcast on that. And like I said, I may have did it on the Patreon channel. I don't know if I put it on our regular channel or not. Uh, but it is to overthrow the current regime. And uh, the U.S. is wanting to overthrow the, the, the regime now and install their own or, or, or new regime instead of the one that they installed so many years ago. So uh, I want to play a little clip of this here for you just to kind of give you a little update on that. And then later tonight, again, I'll be back on our news broadcast again, giving you some more updates. Let's listen in to Vanessa Bealey. People of Iran, where are the rights of women in Syria when the West, the US, the UK, Kabul is funding terrorist groups that would take women's rights back to the dark ages, to the medieval era exactly. uh, in Syria? And, and, you know, this weaponization of human rights is absolutely criminal because what it effectively is is a dismissal of any kind of human rights because they are weaponized invariably to go to war or to destabilize a target country this means that the, the, the west and the u.s have absolutely no concern for human rights or women's rights at all and do you think the people or the women in Iran, of course, want the U.S. to help? Or do you think they would prefer to solve their own matters without outside intervention? I think any country should be allowed to solve its own issues without foreign intervention. And that's exactly right. Definitely check out the rest of the interview there. Uh, and, <clears throat> you know, the problem is the United States uh, is they're not really interested in the, in the rights of the women of Iran. I'm sure there are. Uh, people that are, are very interested in the women, women's rights going on. But when it comes down from a uh, from the Biden administration, it's not because of the of the of the human rights for these poor women. It is because they want to overthrow the current regime and install a different one. And I'm sure that's greatly affected by Israel. Uh, Emily Schrader here, uh, an Israeli journalist, she speaks about it on her channel, too. And uh, which is kind of funny because on here she's accusing them of, 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 of uh, suppression of freedom of speech, freedom of the press, uh, no due process, torture, corruption, terror funding, gender apartheid, etc. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, oh wow, that sounds so familiar. If you ever lived in Israel and you want to see what happens to people that live in Israel that go against the, uh, uh, <laughs> the narrative. It's pretty much the same thing as what goes on in Iran. Listen, though, uh, to uh, what she has to say here. Uh, uh, Emily says here from Tel Aviv. And more. That's why rich, poor, young, old, men and women are all protesting in the streets of Iran with one common goal, an end to the Islamic regime. To minimize the protests to being merely about hijab or economics is a slap in the face to those who have already given their lives in this fight. Nayak cannot be trusted. Well, I, I agree with her that Nayak can't be trusted, but unfortunately what people are not, not aware of is that uh, uh, it doesn't matter. In fact, let me show you who Nayak is right here. That's the uh, National, hang on, let's just, Group, National Iranian American Council Iran. there. They're the ones that uh, fund uh, pretty much every anti-Semitic uh, speech that you can imagine. But just like in the case of the United States, Israel plays both sides of, the, of, of this uh, game here. 
Uh, Israel is also behind with the United States CIA operation there to overthrow Iran uh, using the women's rights. And I'm fully in support of these women having their freedom. Believe me, I am. I, I'm not against that. But the only thing that I don't like is the fact that these women are being put in harm's way. Uh, and many of them probably have no clue whatsoever they're being put in harm's way for an, for a U.S.-Israeli agenda. Uh, that's really what it comes down to at the end of the day. And it's just, it's a new tactic the U.S. is doing right now, and I knew this right out of uh, the White House that this was going on. Uh, so we had already reported that the CIA was behind the operation to overthrow uh, the country using the women, believe it or not, using the women. That's what they want to do there. Uh, also, too, I want to share with you this clip right here. It's very, very disturbing here in China. Uh, this was a tweet that came out, and I don't know where it originally aired at, uh, but this little girl that's right there on the corner of the screen is hard for, for you to see there. Let me back up here. There she is right there. Her mother was beaten to death uh, by, oh gosh, let me just pull that. Let's see, get the, here we get to translate the tweet here. The urban management beat a female stall owner to death and then pointed at the little girl in the corpse team, kneel here and cry, you know, your mother is dead. What a tragedy uh, to see something like that. And so we don't know for sure if that's what really is being said, but um, but you know if that is the case, that is such a tragedy for this little girl to have to see her mother going that way. There, uh, listen. Do keep our family in your prayers. There, uh, I, I will tell you that as the situation um, grows closer to. things that will come out uh, eventually publicly about uh, my wife's father's death, uh, it is having a very, very heavy toll for my wife. It's very difficult for her. So I ask you to keep keep the family in prayer. Uh, and, uh, and, and maybe one thing I should say as well, the, the gravity of crime that was perpetrated is so far above what anyone could even possibly imagine. Uh, so, but that's something that the judicial system has to sort out. So I don't want to elaborate much on that. I just really ask you to be in prayer for our family uh, because this is very difficult. And, uh, and for my wife, it's, it's reliving every moment. So it's extremely hard for her as well. Uh, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. If you want to support the broadcast, IsraeliNewsLive.org, our website, and also our address is there as well. Thank you very kindly.